Bo Bassett, you come back to take third, get a bronze medal here at U20 World Championships. How are you feeling right now? I feel really blessed and grateful. Um, this, this weekend was amazing. You know, I feel like I wrestled great. I feel like I wrestled really hard. Um, up to what I want to put out there. I want to be a guy who's exciting to watch, fun to watch. A lot of points being scored, a lot of action. Uh, that's always been my style, always been how I train. And, and I feel like I did a good job with that, just, just going out there and letting loose. You know, not, not wrestling just to win. For me, it's wrestle to dominate, score points. It went my way the first three. It didn't go my way in the semis. And then in the bronze match, I came out sprinting um, and got that one done. But, you know, I came here to get gold, and that's always the goal. And uh, to come up short, it really hurt last night, but, you know, I, I, I fall back on it's God's plan. And for me, that's what I believe in, and I'm just so blessed to be here. Um, and to come back and get the next best thing, you know, that's what was in my mind the whole time. I love this sport. I'm in this the same age group two more years. I got two more years to come here and dominate and win gold. So that's my goal, um, and this bronze medal is, is still really, really special. You know, like you said, you have two more years, but can you let it like soak in of like how the experience went? You know, you haven't been on a world team in some time and you were able to kind of come here and just still with a bigger weight change, right? And a bigger weight cl uh, class and kind of come out here and get a, gold, uh, get a bronze medal. You know, I think my development this last year has been incredible. Uh, my coaches are amazing back home. The coaching staff here at USA is amazing. Um, and I think I've taken some really, really big jumps since last year. So I want to keep doing that. I want to keep evolving, keep getting better, keep finding new ways to score. Um, I think just keep getting bigger, stronger. I mean, in all ways I can improve in my faith and, and as being just a human, a better human and, and being a better wrestler. And I'm going to improve in all three of those things. I'm going to be back at this tournament next year. Um, and I'm coming for that gold. And I don't just want to win. You know, I want to dominate and score points. Uh, and I hope that Japan guy's back. And if he's not, I'm definitely going to chase him down somewhere along the line. Talk about the team race and how Team USA has really done something really special by putting all 10 in the semifinals and, you know, quite possibly still yet to be determined, you know, getting 10 medals maybe in every weight. It's pretty amazing to be a part of a team like this. Um, and there was talks that it could be like one of the greatest U20 teams ever, if not the greatest. So to be a part of that is amazing. And, you, you know, you go back home at the World Team Trials with the U.S. Open, everybody's kind of in competition. You know, there's guys who are on certain teams, so it's kind of like, you know, it's not a family like it is here. And when we come to the World Championships, everybody kind of comes together. Um, we're all one team. I'm cheering for guys that I've maybe never been on a team with before. But because we're USA, you know, you have that pride. And, and you want to represent your country and do your best. And how amazing is it, too? I mean, you know, the president of USA Wrestling is here, Mr. Bender. He's up there getting fired up, you know, just to hear him and have a guy like that who cares so much. Um, I think it means a ton to me and, and a ton to the team. But I'm just so appreciative of the Penn State staff, the Iowa staff, the Oregon State staff. All the teams that came out to watch, they've been really helpful um, in little ways and big ways too. So I'm just really appreciative of Team USA overall and shout out to Mr. Bender for being here. You know, finally, what's next for you? What, what's the next adventure for you? There, there's a lot going on for me. Honestly, every time I take a loss, I, I have a huge, huge just comeback in, in year. You know, my last loss um, was the last chance qualifier and I feel like I've, I've been on some momentum since then. And that was in senior level, you know, and before that it was who's number one. And the next event that I'm in is who's number one. So I'm really excited to go there, uh, score points and dominate this guy and have a lot of fun. And that's always been my mindset. I'm going to go out and sprint and, and absolutely just, just do my best and keep rowing the boat while God steers my path. And uh, I think I'm in a good spot. But we got who's number one, Super 32's coming up right into folk style, which is kind of crazy because these countries go home and they're going to be, you know, right back to gut, gut wrenches and, and leg laces. And it's like, for us, we go folk style, and then we'll ramp back up into freestyle. So it's kind of a cool thing um, and a little bit of a different aspect for us guys of, of USA. But really excited for the folk style season. And then, I mean, I'm, I'm already looking forward to 2025 World Championships.